NTSC RS is a free plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects and what this does is it emulates a realistic VHS effect. It's really as simple as drag and drop so I'm going to head to effects, find the effect and drag it onto an adjustment layer or the clip directly. I'm going to go for the adjustment layer for now and that's all you need to do. If you want to make any adjustments, head back into effect controls and change the settings to your liking. As you can see, there are plenty of settings and I don't exactly know how this effect works since it's fairly new to me. To install the plugin, head over to the official download page, which I will leave in the description below and scroll down. Since we are using Premiere Pro or After Effects, you want to look for the one that says after effects however this will depend on your operating system so i use windows meaning i want to download this one but if you use mac you might want to download this one here there are also other alternatives for example a standalone version which means it can work as a separate program and also open effects which i believe allows it to work with other software such as i think it was davinci resolve anyways i'm going to download ntsc rs windows after effects so just click it and it should download then you want to extract it so i'm just going to extract to okay and close out of it then what you want to do is open up file explorer and head to this path i will leave it below so all you need to do is just highlight it and right click copy head back into file explorer and paste it at the top and press enter this is the folder where all your plugins go into and we need to place the file you can see that i've actually already got it down here this is the file you need to paste into this folder so i'm just going to open up another file explorer so it's in my downloads this one right here you can simply drag and drop it into the folder i already have it so i'm not going to do that launch or restart premiere pro if it was already open and what you want to do is head over to effects and search for ntsc and you're going to find it underneath stylize most people what they do is they drag it directly onto the clip now i do not recommend doing that especially if the aspect ratio of your sequence is different to the aspect ratio of your clip instead i recommend creating an adjustment layer so just right click new item adjustment layer and click ok then drag the adjustment layer on top of your clip and extend it to the end then what you can do is add the effect directly onto the adjustment layer now let's play around with these settings because i don't know how this effect works so i'm going to increase this effect composite whatever that means so i think that's the saturation one looks like this 1.90 looks like this and of course if i turn it all the way down it looks quite monochrome except for this bar that he's holding i'll leave it at one for now we've got composite noise that might be useful so i'm not going to disable that but you can increase the intensity so that gives it some static or should i say noise i think static would be this bar here at the bottom which i did change a while ago i think it was somewhere down here there are way too many settings even though you know that's a good thing but i personally find it harder to navigate through all of these settings because of that at the bottom there is something called edge wave and it's pretty identical to wave warp so if i increase that i've now got these warps even though i think it works differently to wave warp it's almost like another layer on top you can kind of see how it leaves a trail behind it behind certain objects in fact anything that has an outline i think so you can see here around the arms as well check this one out it's called ringing and if i decrease the frequency that looks what's that effect called again amino diffusion now that's not very compatible with premiere pro so this works really well as an alternative that looks awesome what if i increase the power i think i'll leave it at four let's change the scale that's basically the intensity isn't it okay i'll leave it at four for now tracking noise i'm not sure if i looked at that but let's change the height okay so that's the thing at the bottom which uh okay not bad very useful i think if you want to make one frame glitches but there are so many settings i can't cover them all so let's just change one more the tape speed from lp to ep nothing happened i'm going to reset the effect 
just to go back to the default settings. Now, although you might think that your clip looks good, there is one problem with it. Well, my clip, to be honest, which is the quality. It's too high. So something I suggest doing is exporting it at a low quality. So if we head over to video and uncheck the frame size box and let's change the height. I'm going to go 360. Let's see how that looks. Check it out. Now that looks more like VHS to me. So if you want to go the extra mile, then turn down your frame size, which is the resolution. We could go even further and change the bit rate. So VBR, something like two, maybe that's a bit too high. We could try one. And this is what the result looks like before the raw clip with no modifications and after with the plugin plus the low quality export settings. Monthly supporters, thank you so very much for your support as always.